After a slow start with a pair of opening spares, it's been four strikes in a row for Koo. And the crafty Korean drops a nickel. The lead goes back to your four seed. So Koo with the lead of one pin watches his fellow countryman, Kim. Koo mm. takes the lead. Kim looking to rebound after the 2 8, only to leave a solid 9 pin. He still has a possible 267 if he marks here. However, Koo can strike out and shoot 279. Kim has never experienced a professional event in Asia or the United States before because it would have jeopardized his amateur status. But the World Series of Bowling is open to international amateurs, hence why Kim made the trip from Daegu, Korea, to over here in Las Vegas. One of these men will become the first Korean to win a PBA title. Have you ever been to Korea? I have not. I I'd have. To. Have you ever had kimchi? I've heard of it. These guys are right now about as hot as kimchi, just so you know. Is that like a buchalogi pepper or something? It's actually a very spicy cabbage. Oh. I mean, that ball hardly makes a sound. But remember the last time on the left lane where he left the 2-8, that loft? All right, so this time the ball's on the lane immediately. Like Rob said, you can't even hear the ball hit the lane. That's why the shot where he left the 2 it previously on the left lane was an errant shot. Koo on top by two, bottom of the eighth, looking for six strikes in a row. I don't know what he just said, but I like it. 48-year-old Young Jin Koo. Not so young, is he? Is just taking it to every player he's faced on today's telecast. Truly amazing performance. Nobody gave this guy a chance. They, I even heard some rumors from some other players throughout the week that this guy was a hack. He didn't deserve to be there, but guess what? He's thrown only one Brooklyn today. Everything else has been absolutely stellar. He's had the left side of the lane to himself, and he's taken full advantage. What a great shot that was. One flat seven in the first frame, Rob. A solid nine pin in the second, followed by a six pack, only to leave a ringing seven right there in the ninth, and that ringing seven couldn't have happened at a worse time. Watch the four pin go around the seven pin. Man. Oh, and a huge miss. And that could just cost him this title. It's the first big mistake all day for young Jin Koo. And it's the first single pin he has missed the entire event. And he knew it immediately. Now his max score, 246. Young Jun Young Kim can strike out and shoot 267. Working on a strike, he can take the lead right here. Look out. This one wide open. Tough, tough spare, 3610. No gimme. Mr. Koo can barely stand to watch what his country mate is about to do. 10 for 10 on multi-pin spares this week. That's real solid there, Rob. The towel comes off the noggin of Koo. Readjust the specs. And we are in a one-pin game going into our final frame. Young, or Jun Young Kim, if he throws all three in the 10th frame, he will win and shut out young Jin Ku. Oh no!
an audacious leave as Ku breathes a sigh of relief. What a break for him and a massive downer for Kim. Messenger just missing the front side of the 10 pin. And an open frame. Well, it's one of the worst breaks you'll ever see right there. The door is wide open now. Ku needs just nine pins and two balls to win. Remember, Ku with an open frame in his last frame. Left the seven on his first shot and then missed it. Needs nine for the title. And it's all yours. Yong Jin Ku takes the Scorpion Championship. What a performance throughout the afternoon by the 48-year-old from South Korea. And what a shot right there in the 10th frame when he needed it. Just a great performance all day. Jun Young Kim had the most success of any of the righties today. Looked like he had it figured out early on. Gave a brief opening to that man, Ku. <laughs> and a little more Led Zeppelin. That's right. Led Zeppelin, how appropriate. Let Kashmir play on. 236. 224. Ku with the title. That will clear customs no problem. Young Jin Ku with a 12 point victory in the title match of the PBA Scorpion Championship. And we'll be back to wrap it up from Vegas after this. The World Series of Bowling on ESPN is brought to you by 3G Bowling Shoes, comfort, quality, and performance. The makers of one a day men's 50 plus advantage, the multivitamin with more of what matters. By USBC and its 2 million members. To find out more about USBC, log on to bowl.com today. Lumber liquidators, hardwood flooring for less. Yong Jin Ku, 12 pin victory in the title match. He's the first Korean ever to win on the PBA Tour, and he is standing by lingside with Kimberly. So today we made history here. Actually, Young Jin Ku made history here at the World Series of Bowling, made it an international fair. Chun Bei, you are here to be his translator. What is it like for him to make history? History, yeah, I'm going he said uh, in his final match he was bowling against a fellow com uh, Patriot Korean bowler so actually he was more calm and more relaxed than he would have thought and it allowed him to bowl better and he'd like to thank uh, the president of KPBA who actually supported him coming here. Chuka Hamida. Oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kimberly. And here's the one of the many changing moments of this title match. Well, it was such a back and forth match, and just when it looked like Ku had this firmly in his grasp, he goes and whiffs the seven pin. So he gives the opening back to Kim. Kim can step up in the 10th frame, strike out, and win this. His first ball in the 10th is a pocket 7 10. The momentum goes back to Ku. Ku gets up. He needs nine pins and two balls, and that's the best nine pins I've ever seen. That's 10 back. There are many things we'll remember about Yong Jin. Ku. One of them are the glasses that I love. Now this is a legit close right here. What impressed you the most about Mr. Koo today? Other than the glasses? Mm -hmm. Well, nobody gave him a chance, and he climbed the ladder, beat every right-hander on the telecast. He broke the left side of the lane down perfectly. He had a game plan coming in. He executed, and he wins the tournament. Four international competitors in today's event. It's the all-South Korean final won by Mr. Koo. We take a look at our updated PBA.
World Championship standings. Again, the top eight players after 60 games of qualifying in the World Series of Bowling will qualify for the TV Finals of the PBA World Championship held here in South Point in January. Bill O'Neill, who finished fourth today in first place as of now. Next week, we continue our stay here in Las Vegas. There will be the Shark Championship coming your way here on ESPN 1 Eastern next Sunday, the Geico Shark Championship. So, Yong Jin Koo, the 48-year-old from South Korea, getting his first PBA Tour title in dramatic fashion. Tough day for the American, Bill O'Neill. But the lone lefty, Mr. Koo, running rampant over the field today. For Kimberly Pressler, Randy Peterson, and our entire crew, I'm Rob Stone. So long from Vegas, where Mr. Koo gets the first PBA win ever for a Korean.